Hey there, welcome back to the Earth Stories YouTube channel. I'm Tom Hadley and I'm sorry it's been a while. I know I haven't uploaded a video for quite a while, probably best part of a month I reckon. And I decided to just take a little bit of a break from YouTube, but I didn't forewarn you that I was gonna do that. So if you thought I'd fallen into a gorge somewhere, sorry about that. All is well, I'm absolutely fine. So I've been keeping busy with photography over the last few weeks, and I've got a couple of images in particular that I wanted to show you in this particular video. Um, it's a project that I thought was gonna turn into be a bigger thing. Didn't quite go to plan in the end. <laughs> So yeah, the last few weeks over midsummer here in the UK, I've just wanted to be outside. Yeah, the weather's been so beautiful after a bit of a naff early part of the summer that the idea of just spending a lot of time sitting in front of the computer, doing all my editing and voiceover and all of that stuff that it takes to put these videos out, it's just not what I've wanted to be spending my time doing. I've wanted to be outside either doing photography, watching wildlife, or just spending time with friends and family. And also, to tell you the truth, I've been feeling a little bit jaded with YouTube. Uh, I would suppose I'd spent a few months being pretty consistent, trying to get the content out, and I was just feeling like it was all getting a little bit samey, and I just wanted to take a break from it. So in truth, not only have I not been uploading any content, I haven't been watching any either. I've just kind of taken a complete break from the platform, and that's felt really good. But I think I'm ready now to get back on it. The other main reason for the time away is that, as I alluded to a minute ago, I thought a couple of weeks ago that I might be uh, at the start of quite a big new photography project, but it's a wildlife project. And as always with wildlife, things don't just happen straight away. There's a lot of time in observation that has to be put in, uh, which doesn't necessarily result in a lot of footage straight away. And that's particularly the case with what's happened over the last couple of weeks. So. Let's go down the bottom of the garden because that's where this project was bizarrely based uh, and I'll explain what happened. Okay, so here we are down by the riverbank at the bottom of my garden looking out uh, over the field that extends out the back. And what you'll be able to see in between the two trees just about here, there's a barn. In fact, there's actually two barns. Uh, there's a modern steel framed one which is in use and next to it there's an old brick broken down barn that isn't being used at the moment. Now, a few weeks ago, I came out here, it was late one evening, round about sundown, round about nine o'clock at night, and I saw, flying around the field, a barn owl, which was pretty exciting because I've lived here for about 18 months and I knew the barns were there, but I hadn't seen a barn owl before, but I knew that potentially it was a great roosting spot. So I set about observing the owl to try and just pin down uh, its movements and the time that it was gonna come out hunting. Now, interestingly, I was only really seeing it in the evenings. For some reason, I don't know if it was hunting in a different area in the mornings, but I wasn't seeing it first thing in the morning. It was just at twilight and annoyingly, this owl seemed to only want to come out and hunt just as it got properly dark at sunset, just to the point where I was going to struggle to get enough shutter speed to take any flight shots of it. But nevertheless, I persevered and set up my hide down here and watched the owl for a few nights and managed to get into the rhythm of uh, when it was coming out and when it was going to hunt. And I was just hoping that I was going to get a few evenings when the light was good and maybe it had just come out a little bit early, half an hour or so before sundown, when I just have enough usable light to shoot at maybe one five hundredth of a second or, or above as a shutter speed without having to push my ISO to a crazy level. So eventually everything kind of came together reasonably well. I had an evening of good light, no wind, and the owl came out just 20 minutes before sunset started flying around the field. But what happened next was completely unexpected because there are no natural perches in the field. So the idea of getting any perch shot was something I hadn't even considered. But the owl flew down the field, looped around and came and sat right in a tree in front of me about 30 feet from my hide. I'll spin you around and show you where it was. So you can see the barn, you can see the tree in the foreground on the right hand side here and the owl just came and sat on the main limb of the tree just here, right in front of me. 
I couldn't believe it. And it looked straight at me. And I probably had time to get, oh, I don't know, maybe a two or three uh, still image frames shot. And then I thought I must quickly switch to video and see if I can uh, get some footage as well while he's perched there. And annoyingly, just as I uh, switched over to video, he just slightly turned his back on me, but I still got a few seconds of him quite happily sitting there preening himself before he then flew away. So there I was thinking that this was just the beginning of the project. Um, this owl had found a great roost in an area um, that's not uh, very easily disturbed. There is a footpath actually that runs just in front of those barns, but it's not used very much. So I'm thinking this is great. This owl could be here all summer. I can set the hide up. Um, I can learn its patterns better and the opportunity will come. Uh, you know, at some point, even if it takes me days and days of sitting out here every evening, I'll be able to photograph this owl more, I'll get it hunting, I'll get some flight shots, everything will work out great. But it didn't turn out like that. The owl stayed around for maybe another five or six days, and I was still just struggling to get that perfect combination of the right light and the owl in the right position. And it just didn't happen for me. I just, I didn't get any other really uh, usable shots or usable footage. I got some stuff but it was either too far away or it was just really really grainy because it was getting really really dark. And then suddenly one day no more owl. And I'm not entirely surprised by that because from what I know about barn owls they operate over home range which can comprise several different roost sites. Now in this countryside here behind me there's quite a few farm buildings littered around the valley um, so this owl's got plenty of places, there's plenty of woodland as well uh, where it could make a roost in a tree. So perhaps this owl got disturbed from a different roost site, came over to use this one for a little bit and then decided to go back to its original one. I'm still hopeful that this owl and I can spend some more time together. I'm keeping an eye out of an evening just to see in the hope that he returns. But for the moment I'm going to have to be content with those few precious moments that I got with the owl and a couple of surprise perched images that I wasn't expecting to get. So there were two images in the end that I got of the owl in the tree that I really, really liked. I'll stick those up on screen for you now so you can have a look at them. If you enjoyed this video do give it a like and if you're not already subscribed to the channel click the button and the bell and then you'll be the first to find out when I post new content which I promise I will do more regularly from now on. So I think we've got to go back I've got two more videos that I've got to finish post-production on from my trip to Mallorca um, so there's some great landscape photography coming up in those and then we'll be getting back to more stuff here in Hampshire in the New Forest in the UK. But thanks ever so much for watching and in the meantime, take care, go safe.